what you saw in your practice with people's mouths with these dietary changes, which are not talked about in mainstream dentistry. It, you're correct. And it, what's interesting is I can talk anecdotally and, and your listeners may believe what I say or not believe what I say. There's no control group. How can you say that? You know, you're, you have bias. You're the periodontist looking at these males. Okay, I get that. But there are two, maybe three, but definitely two recent human studies that have shown that if you take a diet of processed foods and change it to a healthy diet with unprocessed foods and not the grains and not the added sugars and not the um, processed seed oils. If you do that in a control setting, so you have in a control group and an experimental group and you're telling each group to do a different thing, but they all have active gum disease to start with and then you evaluate them four weeks later, they have seen without brushing or flossing, by the way, for four weeks, no cleaning of their mouth. They no cleaning either, of the mouth. No clean. This is a very fascinating study. Two studies. So they're doing a culture of the bacteria in the mouth on the tongue around the gum tissues, basically called dental plaque. And they're measuring for bleeding in the gum, which is a sign of active gum disease, and the depth of the spacing between the gum and the tooth and the base of the bone. And that's another so sign of periodontal disease. So they're making these measurements. Now, the control group is eating their junky food for another four weeks. The experimental group is eating this healthier diet without carb, I mean, without grains without sugar and without processed seed oils, and they are not cleaning their mouth. They're allowing the bacteria to accumulate in four weeks. Now listen to this. This is very exciting because it approves a point that most dentists that even call themselves biological dentists don't understand. So at the end of four weeks, there are globs of plaque in the mouth, right? You can do it in your own mouth. You're eating a carnivore diet after four weeks. If you don't brush and floss, you're going to get film that gets thicker around the, the gum of the teeth. So this dental plaque is now recultured. The pocket depths are measured. The bleeding on probing is measured. Lo and behold, to, the, to the surprise of no one, lots and lots of dental plaque. But when they do cultures, all the bacteria, which is about 700 species, are in a state of homeostasis. There are potentially pathogenic bacteria, but they're not overgrowing. And the proof of the pudding is there's no bleeding on probing anymore, although there was in the, in, in the experimental group. There's no bleeding on probing. The pocket depths are, are more shallow, but the control group that continued to eat the junk had more bleeding and deeper pockets after four weeks with no cleaning of their mouth. Now, let me tell you, and this is gonna be a shock to you, I'm sure, because you hear what's going on in the dental community. Dental plaque is healthy until it's not. So here's the point. The biofilm around the teeth at the gum line is a healthy, natural biofilm. How do I know that? Well, I'm just telling you the studies that were done, but we can look back prehistoric times, look at dental jaw remains from 10,000 to 20,000 years ago, you will see calculus, um, mineralization around the tooth at the bone level of these jaws. But if you look carefully, very little damage in the bones, so there's no periodontal or periodontitis, very little tooth decay. Now, there may be some, but very little. The prevalence of, of Gum infection today is 93% of the U.S. population. The, the prevalence of active periodontitis, which is this infection going into the jawbone, is 47%. This is an epidemic, but we have this disease. And, and, and the plaque itself creates three very important uh, functions as it sits around the tooth. Number one, it's the gatekeeper for mineralization. So the, when you eat foods and the minerals get into your blood system, a lot of that gets deposited in your salivary glands. And as you salivate, as you drool in your mouth, all these minerals saturate the tooth surface. You don't get mineralization from toothpaste or a supplement that you swallow or you rinse with. That's a misnomer and that's a joke. I can't believe that people are promoting. 
the mineralization comes from the constant flow of saliva, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And these minerals get sucked up into the dental plaque and the plaque kind of acts as a gatekeeper to allow the minerals to penetrate the root 24 hours a day, seven days a week to remineralize it as necessary. The other thing is dental plaque has a variety of chemical buffers, natural buffers in the body that actually maintain a pH, an acid level that's normal, 5.5 or higher, meaning it's not that acid to create decay. Decay only forms when there is a pH less than 5.5 for an extended period of time. And then the third thing that the dental plaque does, which is amazing, uh, I wish I could have told you that I created this, but I didn't, but it's amazing that the bacteria that is in a state of homeostasis, some of which are potentially pathogenic, some of which are not, but are creating hydrogen peroxide. And this form of hydrogen peroxide is destructive to other potentially invading pathogens inside your mouth, but not in the, in the plaque. So they try to get into the plaque and you, the, the hydrogen peroxide kills it automatically. So if you strip away this dental plaque, you are exposing tissues that could become very damaged. Now, when you're brushing and flossing, if you have a healthy mouth and you remove some dental plaque, you're not gonna remove what's called the dental pellicle, which is the, the stickiest form of the dental plaque, and it reforms every 24 hours anyhow, so it's not a big deal. But there are dentists, and I would say the majority of dentists, and certainly there are hygienists, that that use what's called disclosing solutions, especially for kids. This is a vegetable red dye that, that you swish in your mouth and it stains the dental plaque bright red. And the idea is you scrub that until it's gone. And they teach to remove all the dental plaque, totally incorrect. Then they also teach, if it, it, since you're not going to clean your mouth that aggressively all the time, I want you to suck on these tablets or eat this food or whatever to prevent this dental plaque from forming, like food that has xyl xylitol, which is an artificial sweetener. It's terrible anyhow for your gut, but in addition to that, it prevents plaque from forming. So you're stripping away the protective biofilm that your body was designed to protect itself. And you are creating a, 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 an unhealthy microbiome. Even if you didn't get periodontal disease or tooth decay because you sterilized your mouth, you have no idea all the complications in the rest of your body that you're creating. It's like, it's like you have some ants in the house to, to take care of the ants, you're gonna burn down the house. That's not the way to do it. 